All right, today we have a review um, and a little bit some features and some cool things you can do with the Bionic Web Dock uh, or Lap Dock, I should say. Um, so let me just go ahead and show you guys some of the things on this thing. Um, as you can see, very very thin. Um, got some little pads on the, on the on the back down here, little bumpers, you know, protect it a little bit. Um, really good construction on this thing. It's really nice. Let me show you back here. Um, you have a power charging port right there and two normal USB ports right there that you can use on this thing. Um, here's a speaker and another speaker. Um, this right here is your dock for putting your phone on which has the HDMI and the charging port right there. So. Let's uh, see what else we got here. Um, keys. Pretty nice. Little mouse pad. Two little button clickers down here in the bottom. Right and left mouse. Um, so, pretty nice. Um, the screen is excellent. I really, really like the screen. It works really, really well. Um, let me plug this thing in and show you guys a couple things on it. Okay, yeah, there we go, we're plugged in. I like to actually plug a mouse into mine so you guys can see it. It's easier to use. You can use the pad down the bottom, but I like the mouse. So let me show you this. We're gonna open this up. And I got my Droid Bionic here. Um, I actually have mine with the uh, extended battery on it. And what's nice is that this lab dock is designed to take a phone with the extended battery or the normal battery either one is fine so I really like that it has that kind of built into it so open it up we're gonna see um, it's gonna open up it's gonna kind of draw and rearrange itself here you go uh, it says welcome to webtop version 3.0 because my bionic is on ice cream sandwich that's why we're on version 3.0 we can go ahead and click start over here so I'm gonna start it up. All right. So this is Apex Launchers Web Dock. Okay. It's it's their it's their version. All right. So and it has kind of two modes. So let me just show you a couple things on it here. Tilt that so you got a better view there. Um, you got the normal. You know you can scroll. It looks just kind of like your phone. You got your app drawer. So this is like basically phone mode for this thing um, if you go down here this little icon down the bottom you can hit it and you have phone mode and you have web top mode so we go to web top mode it's gonna start web top mode and it's gonna look a little different here for us okay so here's web top mode you got some icons up here you have your app drawer up here in the top corner all right and you have your notification bar down here and then of course you have your running applications over here it can all come up so this is Apex Launcher's version of Webtop um, I like it, it's nice I kinda like use, leaving it in phone mode put it back in phone mode just cause it's the same kind of setup I use on my Bionic anyway you know you got your uh, Google search bar over here your normal applications over here and then your you know, your weather and that kind of stuff so let's go ahead and look at the stock launcher that comes on the bionic with ice cream sandwich and let's see how its web dock looks alright here we go this is their web dock um, we got some uh, bookmarks here oops sorry guys I get the size there we go you know search bar Google Play you know kind of a, a transition thing here um, same down here notification bar and same up here with the app drawer so you can look through your apps and your widgets whatnot and your buttons down here so those are the two different launchers um, I think they're pretty nice. I really this this one's all right. This is the stock one. I really like the Apex Launcher a little bit better. So we're gonna go back to that one really quick. Like this. This is the view I like to see. 
Um, the other thing besides you can plug in like a mouse over here like I have. Um, you can also plug in a you know, USB stick or something like that on there and you can access your files through a file browser. Um, something like this one, ES File Explorer. And it'll mount it and you can actually view your files that way. Now, you cannot hook up, because I tried this, hook up an external hard drive to this because the external hard drive is um, formatted, most of them anyway, are formatted in NTFS, which is your standard computer format for like Windows. Um, this thing, Android does not support that file system. So it needs to be something like a FAT32 or something like that, like a USB stick would have on it. And it'll see that, but it will not recognize a like portable hard drive. I was trying to plug one in myself, so did look into that for you guys. Um, also, your applications are going to look a little different. Let's see if I can show you one here. Um, YouTube. So it's going to go with YouTube, but it's going to be in webtop mode instead of in your normal mode. So you kind of have this, you know, kind of like effect here, like this. You can see. So a lot of your applications will be um, done in a different kind of orientation, a little different mode. I really like this. It's kind of cool, kind of like encompassing YouTube here. Uh, so really nice to use this um, web top mode. I really like it. It really just turns this thing into a laptop for you. So if you guys get a chance to check one out, they're really cool. Um, also, dude, I got an awesome deal on this one. I got it from Verizon on clearance for 50 bucks. So if you find something like that, man, do not pass this thing up. You can get them on eBay for about 100 but if you have a chance to get one for 50 definitely pick it up. It's awesome. So that's pretty much it, guys. A little review of uh, my Bionic uh, lap dock uh, with ice cream sandwich on it and um, Webtop 3.0. Thanks for checking it out.